Hey. No. Yeah, yeah, right now. No, I'm doing it right now. I gotta look right now. I didn't want to wake you. Well, yeah, yeah. Okay. No, oh, definitely. Well, I'm sure he wants to come by and see you. We'll be by a little later, you know, because you plan on cooking, right? Yeah. Where are you, man? You want to schedule guys for like another hour? I just got out an hour ago. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you forget about the time change, boy? Hey, you, I didn't know about the time. Yeah, change. come on, man. I'm sorry. I was just about to start fucking walking. Come here. It's good to see you, dude. You look good. Ready to go? Can I drive? Yo, man, why you pull over? I just can't fucking believe this city, man. Everything looks shittier than it did before. Didn't think it could happen, huh? Yeah. That just shows you how stupid I can be, though, right? No, I wasn't you. This kind of thing just happened over time, you know? Yeah, I guess. Yo, but please tell me Shaker Park is still up here. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's still up there. Hey, get this. Our name is still engraved into that bench. <laughs> hmm? Yeah, Donovan and Sean run this shit since 98. No, no, see, I remember a little bit different, though. It was it was Sean and Donovan run this shit since 98. That's what it says. No, no, man, I, I think your memory got a little fogged up in that cell, bro. <laughs> yeah, maybe. So what's up, man? You want to talk? Nah, it's alright. We don't gotta talk about it. I mean, you know I tried to come as much as I could. It's hey, just... no. I didn't want you to, you know? I mean, I knew you guys were busy. You know, you were getting more hours at the factory and all that. and Everything with Tiffany. And... I mean, fuck, you're married now. Right. You realize that? Donovan Bishop's a married man? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Ah, I can't believe it. Everything's good, though, right? I mean, yeah, for the most part. Good. So, uh, when are you gonna make me a godfather? <laughs> uh, to be honest with you, a lot sooner than you think. You're good, I hope so. No, no, I mean a lot sooner. Wait, huh? Yeah. What? <laughs> yeah, man, she, uh, she told me a couple weeks ago. Got a little girl on the way. What? Yeah. No. Yeah. No, are you serious? It's official. You're serious right now. 100%. Dead serious. Oh my god. Donovan Bishop is going to be a daddy? It's crazy. Get but... what? Wow. Out of all of us. Yeah. Yo, so uh, let's celebrate then. We got to celebrate. All right, cool. Let me uh let me call Tiffany real quick, you know. Set some up for later. Oh, no, dude. I'm talking about right now, motherfucker. Let's go. What you mean right now? Right now, let's go somewhere. This early? Yeah. What? Uh, I bet Mac. Mac's probably got his bar open, right? He always opens it up early. He leaves the house early because he can't stand his fucking wife. Let's go. Man, it's like ten o'clock in the morning. Who has a drink this early? D. I've been going for three years. I want a million drinks this early. Let's go. Here you guys go. This will drop me. Breakfast champs. Thanks, Mac. Oh, it's good to see you. You gonna stick around a little longer this time? I'll try. All right. Well, if you guys need anything, let me know. Thanks, man. You know what? You should work here. Ha, <laughs> hey, yeah, right. Come on, man. It's not like he wouldn't take you. I'm good, D. <laughs> really? Really? You're good. 
I'm good. Oh, so you have a job. <sighs> no, I don't have a job, but, uh, you know, I had a little bit of money saved up from before. I'll be fine. How long is that going to last? <laughs> Listen to you sounding like Mr. Responsible all of a sudden. Because I had to, Sean. You know when you went in, everybody was still being dumb, doing dumb shit. I had to grow up. Yeah, so? Doesn't mean you gotta worry about me, I'll be fine. Yo, what's up with you, man? What? Nothing's up with me. I picked you up an hour ago. You've been acting weird ever since then. What's up? Man... Nothing. I'm fine. Look, don't even try to play me, Sean. Now what's going on? All right. All right, you know what? I wasn't going to tell you anything, but fuck it. Okay. You got to promise me you're not going to interrupt me. And when I'm done, you're not going to judge me, okay? All right. All right, so, um, you know, when I was in there, I was just keeping to myself. You know, I kept my head down. I didn't want to get involved in anybody else's shit. I just bide my time, checking days off the calendar, thinking about getting out, you know, getting a nice steady job, maybe settling down with a girl, all that kind of stuff like you, okay? And it was going like that for most of these last three years. And about four months ago, this, uh, this old guy moves into the cell next to me. His name's Roger. And the first night, he's, uh, he's, he's knocking on my wall, telling me he needs to introduce himself because he's my new neighbor and shit. You know, like we're in the fucking suburbs and he's bringing me an apple pie. Look, so, is this going somewhere, Sean? You said you wouldn't interrupt me. But, all right, I know, fair enough. I tell long stories, I know that. Okay, so, um... So, yeah, so after a few months, me and this Roger guy, we get real tight. I mean, he's, he's practically like my grandpa. And about a week ago... We're sitting down at the chow hall. He tells me he needs to talk to me. Now by now, Roger knows that uh, I'm in there because three years ago, me and three other punk kids tried robbing a gas station. He tells me he wasn't gonna bring me into this, but he knows I'm a good kid and he's got an opportunity he wants to talk to me about. And I'm like, what opportunity? Roger, what, what, you know about some jobs outside? He says, no. I know about one job outside. One job that'll make you not have to worry about any jobs for the rest of your life. He says, how would you like to make a ton of money off a robbery without ever having to rob anybody? I'm like, what are you talking about, Roger? So he says that he knows a crew of guys doing a string of jewelry store robberies about a week from now. Really tight knit secretive professional group ran by some old guy named Marvin and they've never been caught using this particular method okay so all that they're looking for are a couple transporters to drive the money from one checkpoint to the next and since it's a small crew each person stands to make between 150 and 200 K now first telling him to get the fuck out of here with all that, right? Don't come at me talking about this. I'm getting out in a week. I don't need to get locked up all over again, right? I'm telling him, no, 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 no. But then I start thinking about what this great life that I'm picturing in my head is really going to be like when I get out. Not too many places going to be knocking down my door exactly for a job. So what am I going to do? I'm going to be stuck tending bar or maybe working at a shitty factory with you, no offense, 12 hours a day. And then what, sell down with a girl? I doubt it. I mean, come on, you know all the fucking girls in this town hate me. I'm going to be stuck working 12 hours a day at a factory, maybe playing basketball with you in a rec league on weekends. <laughs> and that's not ever what I dreamt of. I don't know about you. So the more that Roger's talking, the 
That's crazy. He's starting to sound. I mean, 150k, 200k. That's a lot of money, D. I mean, fuck, that's enough to get us out of this city. Do what we want in life, right? And I would trust this guy, Roger. I would trust him with my life. With your life. So finally, I look up to him and I say, fuck it. I'm in. But only... If I can bring my partner with me on this. Wow. You know what? You're even dumber than I thought. Hey. Hey, come on now. Hey! Hey, what, you're just gonna run out on me like that? Wait, wait, hold up. Don't even try to put it on me, Sean. I mean, are you crazy? What? Are you fucking crazy? No, what? What's all what? that bullshit you was talking about changing your life up when you it got out? It wasn't bullshit, okay? Man, I was all about that until a week ago when Roger came at me with this. Shut up. Listen, man, no, you clearly... shut up. No, you shut up. You listen to me now, okay? Three years ago, four punk kids tried robbing a gas station. Maybe you forgot it could have just as easily been you in there. Do you remember that? I remember. Yeah, three of them get away. And I did the time. I did the fucking time for all of us. For you, D. I did that for you. Okay? That's what I'm trying to do this for is for you. I don't remember asking you for help. So what? So the fuck what? This city has been shitting on us our whole lives, D. Come on, man. We deserve this. Don't you think? We deserve better than this. All right? You deserve better than this. Man, you don't need to be working at a factory. You're a fucking talented artist. You don't deserve this. Look, man, I choose to work in a factory, all right? I choose to provide for my family, just like I choose not to break the law anymore. Yeah, and that's why we should be doing this for your family. Man, you know Tiffany hates it around here. Don't you want to get her out? You got a little girl on the way now? Don't you want to not have to worry about where you're going to buy her diapers? Come on, man. Or maybe you don't want any of that. Why don't you just tell me what you want? What, what do you want? I want to be around for my daughter whenever she needs me. That's what I want. Yeah, fuck. Do it for me, D. Come on, do it for me. I'm not like you. I don't have people looking up to me. I need this. Come on, Sean, look. I'm just looking out for you. I know. I'm so fucking afraid, D. Look, man. We can figure it out. All right, me and Tiff can help you, man. You get back on your feet, you all right? You're going to be cool. I don't know, man. Look, man, look, look just, just calm down. Let's, let's go back inside, finish our drinks. All right, well, we'll talk about all this later. I mean, you still want to have me over for dinner? Yeah, but we ain't gotta go there for a while now. You know, we, we can go inside, finish our drinks, cool off. We'll talk about it later, alright? Come on. Alright. Alright, whatever. How is it, Sean? It's good. Um, you know, it's just nice to finally have some food that's real. <laughs> yeah, real. Yep. So, uh, he hasn't really told me much. What do you have planned now? You sure you don't want to stay the night in your guest room? Uh, no. It's alright. I'm, uh, I'm gonna stay with my cousin Paul for a little bit, so... You sure? You can stay here for the night if you need to. <clears throat> Babe, I'm pretty sure Sean's alright. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm good. It's gonna be good. Paul's got his place, uh, he's gonna leave me a key, and... He's going to be gone for a few days, so I'm just kind of looking forward to having my own space for a little bit, you know? Okay, I'm just making sure you're... All right. Mm -hmm. So, do you have any leads on a job? Uh, one. But I think it fell through. I don't know. Where at? Um, DC Lumber. Yeah. 
DCs. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, you know. I hear the factory is always hiring. We should look into it. I'm sure D can hook you up. Uh, well, <clears throat> yeah. Because if you want it. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. No, but hey, tell me about the hospital. How's everything going there? So good. It is great working with the babies. It's giving me lots of preparation for our little one. I can't even tell that you're pregnant. You're not even showing. You'll be able to tell soon enough. Yo, Sean. Wait up. What's up, D? Hey, yo, man. I'll do it. Do what? Yo, the whole transport thing, I'm in. I'll do it. Are you sure? 100%. Man, what about Tiffany? I mean, we ain't doing so high. We got the baby coming. Yeah. We use a little bit at a time. And you talk about getting out. Yo, I just can't right now. This is home. That's all I know. All right. I respect that. Are you sure you're in? I'm in. You're good. Yo, I'm in. Let's do it. All right. Get some information next week. All right. All right. Hey, don't mess this up. I got you. D, come on, come on. Pick up. The fuck? Pick up. Fuck. Okay. Hey, man, what the fuck? What's your problem, man? Everything's fine. Keep your hands in the air. What's your name? Ray. Hey, Ray, if everything's fine, then why did I just get a text from Donovan saying it wasn't, huh? Look, man, your friend is fine. He's just waiting on your ass to make the first drop. You know, maybe you're right. And if you are, I'm sorry. But right now, I need you to turn around and put one hand in the air. With the other one, take out any keys, your gun, everything, put it on the ground. Good. Start walking. Man, you're making the biggest mistake of your life right now, pal. Good for me. Keep walking. Hey, where's the money? How the fuck should I know? Maybe your friend has it. Change of plans. Get over here. Fucking serious. Get in the fucking trunk. Your boss Marvin? He's probably expecting your call, huh? Not until I find D. Come on. Fuck! A move! Move you bitch! I'm coming, D. Come on! Fuck!
No, this isn't your handwriting. This isn't your handwriting. This isn't your handwriting. You say Marvin's expecting your call? That's right. And I'm supposed to be dead too? Yeah, you shouldn't have trusted old Roger. We don't take the outsiders. Your crew, you usually call or text him. Marvin don't text, he's old school. Good. You're gonna need to sound convincing. You're gonna call Marvin, and you're gonna tell him that it's done. And then, you're gonna tell him that you don't feel so good. So you need to lay low for a few days. Why the fuck would I do that? Because if he believes you, I'm gonna let you live. I'm gonna drop you off far from here. I just need to buy myself a little bit of time. You do this, and you can still see your family again. Make the call. It took you long enough. Is it done? Yeah, the bishop retired today. And I just shut down the parks. Well, get back here then. Yeah, I think I'm gonna stay in. I'm not feeling so good. You seemed fine earlier. Yeah, it just started hitting me. I heard the bishop retiring thing didn't go so easy. I heard it was a long, painful thing he kept wrestling with. These things happen from time to time. I remember my first. The other boy's all set. Yeah, they're good. And I'll call you tomorrow. All right. See ya. You know all that stuff about me letting you go? Yeah, I don't think I can do that. Sean?